Dennis from Dark Life captures what can only be a demon in this abandoned house. After his lantern mysteriously shuts off, Dennis scrambles in the darkness. Finally, he gets it turned back on. He thinks the poltergeist is campaigning against him, so what next? The demon is in the adjacent room. He leaves for a moment, and when he returns, everything is on. Is the demon playing tricks on him? Or is he standing there watching him? I can feel the demon's presence in this one, and I can't get that sound out of my head. Now we're Mar 5 is a popular vlogger with a channel full of entertaining videos and some creepy ones too. One of his creepy videos has him exploring a haunted, abandoned school in his home country of Turkey. The scary things he's caught on tape in this haunted place are no doubt creepy beyond all mention, so I'll let the chilling paranormal evidence speak for itself. A ghost figure or maybe just a weird person dressed in all black is in this room and refuses to leave. I'm not sure if this video of a ghost sighting is real or fake. But I think it could be real because they run out of there faster than any other scary video I've ever analyzed. A Miami woman was fast asleep on her couch when an unusually creepy looking woman decides to enter her home. Captured on the homeowner's canary home security system, this stranger was filmed the entire time she rummaged through this house. Even more odd is how this woman hovers over the homeowner on the couch, watching her sleep. I originally thought this video was fake because the stranger looks like the possessed girl in your typical scary movie, but the incident is 100% real and most likely wouldn't be believed without this footage. This individual was never caught or identified. Solo Ambush goes to a haunted shack that's been abandoned in the jungle. The place is haunted by two evil shamans, conjoined twins connected at the hip. Solo Ambush is ready to live up to his reputation and confront them both on live stream. He finds odd evidence in the pages of an old book that could be paranormal incantations of some kind. Tell me what he says here and anything you can about what's written in the book. <laughs> I'm especially interested in what this page says. It has a picture of the world on it and a list. He stares at this page for the longest of all. For some reason, he lights five candles in the attic and says something to the shaman. Okay, sila keluar. Maybe it has to do with what he just read. Whatever he recites, it works.
Notice how the shadows start moving when the noise begins, and how they stop moving when the noise ends. Final analysis? These scary moments caught on livestream video are paranormal and creepy beyond belief. It's like the ghost is walking right up and standing over him. It looks like Solo Ambush is the one getting ambushed this time. These situations usually end badly. This one, although extremely frightening, ended as well as it could have. It was February 8, 1977. Tony Kiritsis, a 44-year-old man from Indianapolis, was set to meet about his mortgage with Richard O. Hall, a mortgage broker. Kiritsis wasn't making his payments and a request for an extension was denied. Kiritsis was afraid that Hall would sell his property for the equity. After they'd gone in for the meeting as normal, Kiritsis led Hall out of his office with a barrel held to the base of Hall's neck. This wasn't a spur-of-the-moment plan in action. Kiritsis had thought this through. The barrel was wired to Hall's neck, while the trigger was wired to a ring he wore on his index finger. This meant that Hall would perish if he tried to run away, and he would perish as well if someone tried to retrieve the gun from Kiritsis. Before leaving the office, Kiritsis also phoned the cops to tell them that if they attempted to intervene, Hall's life would end. He then led Hall through the streets of Indianapolis to Kiritsis' apartment, where he held Hall captive for three days. Kiritsis' demands that his debt be eliminated, that he wouldn't be prosecuted for his actions, and that the mortgage company admit fault. This is the scary part that was caught on camera. Kiritsis alerted the news media that Richard Hall would be reading a statement that he, Kiritsis, had written. Hall could barely speak due to the strain from the wire against his neck, so Kiritsis ended up reading the piece himself live on air. His delivery lasted for 23 minutes. When Kiritsis got what he wanted, Hall was released unharmed. Police, of course, prosecuted Kiritsis, despite promising otherwise, and he was found not guilty by reason of insanity. He was thrown in a mental institution for 11 years. Later, he apologized for what he had done and said that he never wanted to hurt anyone. Thankfully, he didn't. Even dogs have the sense to be aware of this spirit. Published by Scary Desk in January of 2022, a security camera captured two dogs in an alleyway. Acting suspicious, the dogs are seen watching something as of yet unseen. They then start to move away down the alley, looking over their shoulders. That's when the camera captures this shadow figure moving down the alley. The figure is distorted at first, but then becomes more human in form as it moves down the pike. Still, the figure is not solid, but a semi-transparent shadow. Some in the comments think the video has been manipulated, while others say they've seen ghosts like this and believe the footage is authentic. Whatever the case, the dogs definitely see the figure, or sense that it's there. What do you think? I think something mysterious is going on here. A man is holding very still with his arm out at an odd angle. That's because he doesn't want to attract the wrath of this dangerous little fellow who somehow slithered into a scary situation. He is helpless as his friend carefully pinches his sleeve to determine where the snake is. He makes a cutting motion with his free hand to tell his friend what to do, not wanting to alert the snake with the vibrations of his voice. Once they carefully cut away the sleeve, you can see the snake is curled around his right bicep and in no hurry to leave. The mouth is right by his arm and it would take less than a second to strike with fangs. They wisely pull open the sleeve with the scissors to distract the snake and get its head away from his arm, but there's not enough room so they need to cut more. By now, the snake is getting upset, so with no time left, they reach in and scoop him out. I guess they could have done that the whole time, but it was much too risky to be a first option. Take a look at its markings and tell me what kind of snake this is. I'm guessing by the way they handle it with such extreme caution that it has to be venomous. Here's another strange sewer grate video that's worth mentioning. Huh?
I have no idea what is making these high-pitched noises, and apparently neither does this person. The bleeding quiets down and then starts up again. Everything from toads to alarm systems have been proposed, but I have never heard an alarm system that makes that noise or any other piece of equipment on Earth for that matter. If whatever is making that noise is alive, then I hope they are not suffering. Would you dare to step foot in a house where someone's life was taken? The YouTube team from the New Reality Paranormal are investigating this cabin buried deep in the woods. When they first ask the spirits a question through the spirit box, they get a quick response. Is there a man here? You, I think we heard you. What did it say? It said here. It said here. Here now? It's yeah. The spirits then tell the guys what they need. Oop. Please help. That's, That's what it said. It said, it said, please, it said help. please help. The team also discovers that the spirit passed away in a strange way. How did you die? Did he say cat? Did he say cat? It <laughs> said cat. It said cat. <laughs> Was a cat really the culprit? As they're waiting for more communication in one room, they get some REM pod action in another. Thank you. Then the cat ball goes off elsewhere. Alright, we're back on three, two, one. Oh, the cat ball! Oh, the cat! I got it. The cat ball's going off, and and the and the REM pod. At the same time. Is the spirit trying to warn them about the cat that took his life? It sure seems like it. I have chills right now, bro. Awesome. It's going off again, bro. Hi. I'm looking right at it, dude. Oh my god. They ask, and they get a direct answer. Are you a cat? If you're a cat, can you touch that? There it is. Look at it. Oh my god. As the cat ball continues to go off, they hear a disembodied voice. Please tell me you heard that. Please tell me you heard that. It was a voice, dude. When they do the Estes method, they're given this ominous message. So, my soul. They later head outside, and the spirits can't keep up with them. Should they really wait for him? I don't know. This spirit could be the victim, or it could be the life taker. Either way, I don't think I'd take my chances. Two grown men are roaming the woods when they come across a creature that's making some very guttural warning noises. Suddenly, something wrapped in baggy robes lunges straight at them. As far as I can tell, only one of them makes it to the car, and then, I don't think it ends well. No other information on this video is available. An abandoned school that served as a German headquarters a long time ago. A ghostly female apparition spotted in the window. This dilapidated site is ripe for exploration. Originally published by Dark Ghost Paranormal, this scary video follows Dennis as he takes on the challenge. Using a spirit box, Dennis tries to find out what is going on here. The spirit box immediately informs him that a spirit is here. She says that he doesn't know her. After asking if she burnt the place down, she answers in the affirmative. She also says, they did it to me, they burned me. And Dennis is told they're in the basement, whoever they are. Dennis heads inside to have a look. After asking for a sign of the spirit's presence, he is given one. Down in the basement, he finds something like a bunker. While speaking with the spirits, a box makes a noise in the corner. 
His lights go out and he hears mysterious knocks in the room. He tries the door at the end of the room, but it seems shut tight. When he asks the spirits through the spirit box what they want from him, they have a simple answer. After the spirits warn him to leave, and the lights go out again. Suddenly, he looks up to find the door open. He gathers his stuff and gets out of there in the nick of time. Another camera on the outside of the room captures the door opening on its own. Is this the spirit of whoever set fire to the lady in the window? Or is it the lady herself? A married couple stationed at Fort Irwin in California are relaxing at home when suddenly their motion-activated baby monitor turns on to reveal some scary stuff caught on camera. I don't know, that's a little weird, I don't know what it is. What they suspect is a small ghost hand waves at them excitedly. When they move the camera a few degrees over, it's mysteriously gone. It isn't long before the ghost hand reappears to wave at them some more. The backstory on this one is sparse. They say their house is haunted but don't go into more detail. They also say the hand moves way too fast to be a human. And I agree, that's true. But only because this is probably a piece of dust on something up close. Next time you're wandering through a forest, look out for the trees. They might just be hiding duppies. Posted to YouTube by Javahan Ferguson in January of 2020. This video purports to show proof of a duppy caught in a tree. What's a duppy? Meaning ghost or spirit. The concept originated in Central Africa. Caribbean folklore in particular grasped onto the supernatural nature of the duppy. Many residents, in fact, claim to have seen them. The malevolent spirits appear most often at night and are meant to haunt the living. In the video, the so-called duppy woman appears to somehow be perched atop a tree. She is waving to someone or something beyond. If not something supernatural, how is this woman managing to stand or float atop a tree like this? And if she is a duppy, what imaginable malice does she intend to induce? Emma is too afraid to come into her parents' room because she says she can see a bad man in there with them. When her mother asks to point where the person is, she indicates that it's in a dark closet which is open. The mother examines the closet. She doesn't see anything but she seems to get an uneasy feeling that matches her daughter's emotions. What, baby? What, daddy? Yeah. Okay, go get daddy. The child turns around and freezes. She is too afraid to move without her mother following closely behind her. There's something about this video that seems very dark and genuine. Obviously, the mother felt a presence too, or she would have not uploaded this video with the title of Two-Year-Old Girl Sees Ghost Again. Overall, more information is needed before I make a final judgment, but let me know if you think Emma was seeing something that her parents could not on that night. CCTV footage often captures the unexplainable, posted to YouTube by UFO Mania in May of 2018, and originally from FUM. When a ring security camera caught a strange flying entity on camera. The unknown entity shoots onto the screen, sparking in the air before settling in a glowing fuzz at the bottom of the frame. It hovers there, floating, before jolting upwards and out of sight. YouTuber Trish Robinson writes, One world has many creations in it. We simply don't understand them. Most will never be known by the masses. Is this just one of those many creations we don't understand? Nevertheless, this footage raises multiple questions I wish we had additional evidence to answer. A YouTuber named Ashton Kelly is skateboarding with his friend Casey when they remember they're near an old haunted tunnel that might make for some good video. The first part is really small, so they scoot across on their boards until it widens to reveal the true, much darker entrance. Ashton is commenting on nearby spiders when they hear a low rumbling noise that I think is just the wind, but could be a growl. It's a big 
A spider went, what the was it? Eventually, they go so far down that they no longer get a cell phone signal, meaning they're truly on their own from this point on. And that's when they see a single eye reflecting light. To this day, they're not sure what was watching them. The thing is low to the ground and I don't know if this is its whole body or just the head peeking around the corner. It doesn't move, which makes me wonder if they put it there. But it could have just been as surprised as they were. Ashton and Casey get out of there as fast as possible, but take a look at it again. What do you think they were running from? A YouTuber named RJ32 is at the beach in Southern California when one of his kids sees a fast moving round creature in the clear water. Watch this part and give me your best guess as to what this could be. And don't worry if you can't tell yet, because you and he are about to get a much closer look. RJ32 curiously walks over to where he last saw what he thinks was a flounder and starts kicking around. Panic sets in as he realizes he's uncovered a stingray that was trying its best to hide from him in the sand. I don't think the stingray is full grown, but take a closer look and tell me if I'm wrong. Mature or not, the tail seems like just the right size to go through your foot if you aren't careful. RJ32 gets a quick warning jab and is sent limping to the beach. If this is what a baby can do, I wouldn't like to see the work of an adult. The Franklin County Old Jail, which was established in 1818, is widely known for being extremely haunted and usually, it seems that whoever dares to enter finds themselves getting more than they bargained for. A YouTube channel named Paranormal Purgatory decided to venture down into the jail themselves to have a look around the place. The jail is eerily decrepit and worn down down, something you'd expect from a 200 year old building, but just because it's worn down doesn't mean that the place remains uninhabited. Look at that. Look at, you see the old rocking horse in there? No, what I see. Go in there. No, what I see. Go in there. No, what I see. Go in there. Did you hear that? I heard that too. There's a whistle. So next to the bed here, I do kind of see what they're talking about here. If you just focus on the bed, there appears to be just kind of this shadow and then it almost seems to take off to the right here. Old rocking horse in there? No, what I see. Go in there. No, what I see. Go in there. No, what I see. Go in there. Did you hear that? Oh, right there. Okay, I, I now see exactly what they're talking about. So there's going to be a flash of light. So it, it looks like it's like a head and kind of a torso. And there's that flash of light. And then it looks like it just sort of pops right up. It happens so quickly. I should play this in slow motion. Right here. Don't you see that? And then it just pops right up just in the, the split second that it's shown in the light. Even though the crew behind the channel had only just started to look around the jail, little did they know that they didn't need to look any further for signs of paranormal life, as you can make out what appears to be some sort of shadow figure right next to the bed, which vanishes just as quick as it appears. During the rest of the video, the crew explores the remaining areas of the jail, but are ultimately unable to find any other signs of paranormal activity, even still though seeing this shadow figure in person during an investigation would be enough to terrify anybody. This scary ritual is about to go very wrong. Near Shadow shows us why we should never play with the devil. First he must submit a drop of vital fluid. It says a single drop right where your name goes. You could probably just dab it on the paper. Too. No, it has to drip. Then he must knock on a door 21 times. 20. 21. Okay. Is that your end even night in 30 seconds? Um, yep, I'm watching the... They start to hear some things bubbling up. It sounds like... Wow, I got cold chills. It sounds like wind, but like echoing wind, like... Yeah. And the furnace isn't on. There's no, no heat on. And it continues. Yeah, I did. 70. 70. Good. 
We can only guess what 70 means. While communicating with the spirits, they continue hearing a noise coming from the door, and then it moves. Oh, more here. Oh, your candle. Oh. You're not even gonna take your candle. <laughs> what did you say? Oh, orange. I'm orange? I have orange candle. Oh. And then it really moves. Making a noise. Holy sh! Babe, oh my door just opened. Oh my there's no way. And then it's clearly being moved by something. There's just such a ringing. Babe, I'm not even playing. To me, the first couple movements look like they could have been from a draft. That last one, though, that one sold me. Have you ever wondered if a ghost might appear in your next selfie? Well, this video is evidence that they're all around us, at all times. The girl in the video is using a Snapchat filter, which appears to be capturing a nearby ghost. At least, the filter is putting dog ears on a face that doesn't exist. The girl asks the ghost to stick its tongue out for her. When she realizes there may be two spirits there as two dog filters appear in the empty space. You wanna stick your tongue out for me? Cause this is pretty, whoa. Whoa, there's two of them. Throughout the video, one of the dog filters disappears only to reappear in a different place. The girl tells the spirits they are welcome there and just to clean up after themselves. Then the bigger ghost moves closer. She asks if it's going to stick its tongue out at her, only to have the dog disappear again. And then... Are you just going to, uh, no? Okay. Are you gone? Are you going to come back? Uh... <laughs> that was a jump scare if I've ever saw one. Are these friendly ghosts or villainous pranksters? Your guess is as good as mine. All I can say for sure is that something suspicious is happening here. While this man was checking his home CCTV at night, he captured something he didn't expect. Published by Scary Desk in November of 2021, the scary video shows the man setting up his camera and checking that it's angled well in his yard. But as he's doing so, look behind him. A creepy face peeks out from behind a bush in the background. It remains in view even as a car passes by behind it. The face then slowly disappears back behind the bush. A closer look shows the creature's bizarre features. While it looked human from far away, it doesn't exactly look that way close up. Is this being wearing a mask? And why is it hiding? Whatever is going on here, it seems this man set up his security cameras just in time. Beam me up, Scotty. Published to YouTube in June of 2019, this CCTV footage reveals a possible spirit captured on video in Port Moresby that same year. The footage shows an intersection that looks to be on the outskirts of the city, probably from restaurants or shops that are still open at night. Street lamps illuminate the roadway, blinking on and off as a truck turns at the crossroads. Then something strange and out of place appears. On one corner of a median, a ghostly glowing mist manifests before rising upwards and out of sight. On closer inspection, the small figure appears humanoid, glowing at its core. But what is it, and where did it go? While visiting an abandoned mental hospital in Allentown, Pennsylvania, Spirit Realm Investigations captured what they believe is an apparition on camera. Watch the bottom right window, followed by the middle windows. Did you see that? Something seems to peek out and then shift between these two windows.
to me, the shape in the bottom right window is convincing. It looks like a figure peeking out and then vanishing. But I think that could just be a reflection of light as the camera moves. It does seem to move in pace with the camera's movement, but the first one doesn't. That's for sure a legit apparition peering out at us. This aerial footage was broadcast live during a period of bad weather in Hebron, Ohio. Take a look at this flooded neighborhood and tell me if you see anything abnormal lurking in the dirty brown water. We are with a uh, film specialist, Carl Parker. So if you want to stay on and uh, have a listen, Carl's been looking at that. Uh, A worm-like creature appears to wind its way around a house shortly before the camera zooms out. While this could be an ordinary piece of driftwood from the way it's moving in the water, I wouldn't be surprised if the floodwaters caused some sort of giant parasite to emerge from the sewers below. This footage was supposedly taken from a submarine lurking somewhere in the Greenland Sea. The crew is so fascinated with a school of fish overhead that they fail to see a much rarer creature directly behind them. A large webbed hand that is roughly five times larger than any human's slaps the glass before pushing away. It's almost as if the humanoid creature was toying with the submarine crew and wanted to make its presence known. However, one thing bothers me about this video. If everyone is so interested in the school of fish passing above them, then why is the cameraman focusing on his crewmate's reaction instead of the fish? This video could very well be scripted and CGI, although it also wouldn't surprise me if it really was legitimate. Only the submarine crew knows for sure. A family is crossing the border from Texas into Mexico when this SUV gets on their tail and shines a light at them in a ploy to pull them over that they didn't fall for. The family knows this vehicle belongs to a group of outlaws who collect money from any American tourist unlucky enough to cross their path, so they speed back to the border with the SUV close behind. They make it back to safety, but somewhere along the way, they have this strange encounter that everyone was too distraught to notice at the time. Maybe the grainy dashcam video is to blame, but as one commenter points out, it almost looks like this dog literally teleports into the shot at 29 seconds. At 27 seconds, you can see both streets are empty, except for a man and his bike, and then two seconds later, this dog appears out of nowhere and doesn't come into focus until it's halfway across the street. I guess it could have emerged from the street corner, which was hidden by the truck in front, but however you want to look at it, you may never expect for a car chase in Mexico to end with a possibly teleporting dog. An angry poltergeist taunting this room is throwing things off the shelf. Hey! Allah Akbar, Allah. Ini rumah aku kalau kau nak buat macam ni. Kau yang aku takut. Hmm? Kau yang aku takut. But unfortunately for Arash Afnan, the paranormal activity does not end there. Allah. Looking straight at him is a mysterious figure standing in the kitchen, a shadow figure that is clearly in the shape of a person. But when he chases it into the kitchen, it's gone and the drawer where it was just standing opens all by itself. Now that's just terrifying. This doll room is said to be quite haunted, and you're about to see why when this tassel starts moving by itself. It looks like certain portions of the covers move by themselves, as indicated by their square motion boxes, but it's actually just this woman who is moving in her sleep and easy to miss. So either this is fake, or the combined paranormal energy of all these creepy dolls is enough to get this ornament to move. The Bassett Arms Pub 
In Barrytown, Wales is another famously haunted watering hole in the UK. All sorts of strange sightings occur here on the regular, but this one is probably the most convincing. Look at that, oh. it's getting more prominent. It almost looks as though an apparition is literally leaning out of the wall and reaching forward. Tell me if you can see its head, shoulders and arms when I pause the video at the 7 second mark. Then again, I guess this alleged ghost could have been nothing more than a spider web dangling in front of the camera. I wish they would have gone to the camera and checked for any webs or long strings of dust nearby to confirm this possibility. It's the only alternative explanation I have to the paranormal. Unfortunately, we will never know for sure. This surveillance footage was taken from the Helmut Carr College in South Africa. A strange mist appears in the far doorway and slowly morphs into the shape of a girl wearing a long dress. She casually walks into a nearby classroom as if this was just another ordinary school day, except of course the room is empty and no one is in the building. Even though this is called Helmut Carr College, it's actually just a high school and this phantom-like figure does appear to be around the same size as an average student. This makes me think it could possibly be real, though I guess they could have just edited this girl into the video if they really wanted to. After experiencing paranormal activity in her home, Beth Ann Thorson bought some Nest cameras. Then she captured these strange flashes, which she shared on Facebook. The flashes are seen again in a second video. Some in the comments suggest they could be flashing in Morse code, but after checking with a military friend of the family, the couple nixed that theory. Beth Ann also checked her phone's providers, potential faults, and updates, but nothing explains why the flashing occurred, and it's particularly alarming that it happened on each phone individually. Many in the comments believe the spirits are trying to communicate with them. Others think they're just letting them know they're there. Well, my first thought is that it could be an Amber Alert, which which would impact all phones in the area. I agree that it may be some form of communication from the beyond through the phone's energy. Whatever it is, it's highly unsettling. The Crazy Red Show uploaded an odd sky sighting over the Hawaiian island of Maui that I think needs more coverage and further analysis. I'm filming that, bruh. I'm telling you, bruh, they're right there. Holy Lights in the sky have assembled into a strange formation that does not get closer or farther away, simply hovers without a sound. Looking back, the crazy red show says he still has no idea what these lights were, describing the unexplained event as a surreal moment that, if he had to guess, might be a triangulating satellite system being launched. I admit I don't have much of an idea of what a satellite system looks like, but I would assume getting launched involves movement of some kind. Like I said, these unexplained lights in the sky seem stationary and make for a strange sighting caught on tape indeed. Tell me if you think this is something made by us, because a lot of people think this could be video evidence of visitors from someplace far beyond our world. I personally think it could be flares from a government drill, but it's too hard to say. Sometimes those abandoned buildings that some urban explorers enter are not entirely abandoned. In fact, in some cases, they're the stomping grounds for the occult. Published to YouTube by Lego Papa TV in March of 2020, Papa was likely not expecting to be chased down by a hooded stranger performing a ritual in a house where lives have been taken, but that's exactly what happened. He writes, this is probably the scariest moment of my life I ever had. When moments like this happens, out of nowhere you put yourself in a situation that your mind goes blank. Papa explores the dark dwelling, which certainly gives off an aura that something terrible happened here. The house is utterly destroyed, littered with garbage, ransacked, covered with graffiti, and generally torn apart. 
As many in the comments point out, there were wet footprints at the doorstep, which may indicate that somebody recently entered the house, or was in fact there, or was still, in fact, there at the same time. And soon, Papa discovers he is not alone. As he wanders throughout the house, he hears noises. I know she stepped upstairs. Hello, anybody here? He even sees a flashlight as someone searches for him while he hides out in a bathroom. For some reason, despite all this, he continues exploring the house, ending up in the basement. But when he hears distinctive footsteps overhead, he hightails it out of there. Likely because it dawns on him that if he was to remain in the basement, he'd be completely trapped. It seems he escaped just in time. As he runs off into the woods, he glances back to capture a hooded person on camera, standing on the porch steps. If he had left a minute later, who knows what might have happened. YouTuber Hidden Treasures recently moved into a new home. Little did he know what he'd find inside. He leads viewers down a hallway to a dark closet and behind a lower shelf, there's a panel. The YouTuber says that when he pulled it back, you can kind of see some stairs. Then he leads viewers into the room next door, where there's an adjacent closet. He recalls how he went in there to investigate where the stairs led, but there's just a regular closet in this room, three walls and a ceiling. He said he brushed it off and continued to unpack his house. He went to put some Christmas stuff in the attic. This is where it gets interesting, he said. Once he got up to the attic, he decided to investigate if those stairs led somewhere. And in fact, they did. They led to a secret room. After tearing a wall down, this YouTuber found a whole other room in the otherwise unfinished attic. This room had wallpaper, electricity, short ceilings, a closet area, a sliding door, and a mirror on the wall. He filmed the staircase from the other side, allowing viewers to see that whoever hid this room simply framed the wall in to block the staircase and access to the secret room. This is only a one-story house, he says. You can't tell from outside that this is up here. So the question is, why was this room hidden? What was the previous owner trying to keep secret? Or who? Is there someone down there? I'm literally shaking right now. I am on my own right now. Hello? A YouTuber named Andrew Duffy has a paranormal problem in his basement that literally leaves him shaking with fear. There's someone in here. Make your presence known. Do something now. He shakes throughout the entire 10 minutes and 43 seconds of this video without a break, which would take some talent to fake. Here's a good example. I'm gonna say would you take something that turned you into a zombie? Please don't do it because it's a horrible idea. In October of 2017, a number of sightings were reported in Brazil in which humans were behaving monstrously, with some running their heads into windshields and others flailing their arms and screaming nonsense as if they were possessed. This video clip shows what a nightmare this can be. He pounds the windshield as well before taking a running start at it with his head. With his arms outstretched, the boy screams into the ethers while one guy outside holds an arm out, seemingly trying to calm him. The boy continues to scream in place before trying to smash his way into the bus again. 
This goes on for several minutes. Whatever this man has taken to be acting this way, just remember, it's never a good idea to do the same. A haunted coffee shop? Never heard of such a thing. But that's what YouTube team The Haunted Side are investigating in Virginia City, Nevada. Their investigation opens with a subtle sound. Um, heard that. The spirits then respond to the team's requests via their paranormal devices. Can you touch that little box right there on the bar? Oh. Ooh. God. Just like that. Look. Look. Right. What the f is that? The unexplained noises continue. No. Something made a noise right before I did that. And in the kitchen, they hear a whisper or a breath. It sounded, it sounded like a voice. The voice is heard again, louder this time, but it's unclear what it's saying. Is that you? As they're looking on a thermal camera, more unexplained noises resound. And now it's like over by the door and gone. Whoa. What? And a voice. That's the first voice I've heard come through there. Next, Patrick feels something touch his neck. That, gotta put the camera down for a second. Ooh. Something like. Not, not a scratch per se, but like. And just as he's about to speak, the spirits clink their glasses. Where are you, right? Ooh. What was that? The noises don't end there. What the f is that? Then a bunch of his tech acts up on its own. I'm holding it down, the SLS closed, the full spectrum camera shut off. That was rolling. Is the IR light on? It opened back up on its own. What is happening here? As he's trying to figure it out, another clinking sound is heard. That is, what the f The spirit is even taking requests now. Can you make a noise like that again, please? Whoa, whoa. And then denying them. What the f is that? In my opinion, despite the ambient noise throughout the clip, there are too many mysterious sounds in this place to deny that it's haunted. But all I'm wondering is, if this spirit serves up a decent cup of boo brew, whether you believe in ghosts or not, fear can take your breath away. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit, Tyler12798 explains that he took this video while he was 12 at his mom's office. Tyler writes, there were rumors that a ghost named Kevin roamed the place. One day I recorded this. We heard deep moaning coming from a window. Let's see what happened next. You. Can you open the door? Can you open the door? Close it. Open. Now open it. Open. Open. A wooden door kept slamming and swinging of its own accord. According to Tyler, all the windows were closed when this occurred, so it was unlikely to be an issue of airflow. Some in the comments know that they have never captured the other side of the door on film, so there might have been someone behind opening and shutting it. Tyler claims there is no one. In the comments, Tyler also writes that when he returned from the bathroom, a sticky note on the door read, Kevin was here. While many insist that outside airflow caused this, we'd like to think it was the Home Alone ghost playing practical jokes. So do you think this has a rational or paranormal explanation? When Reactor 4 burst at Chernobyl in 1986, a 10km exclusion zone was formed and thereafter was increased to 30 kilometers. The initial steam blast resulted in two passed away, while a further 28 passed within months of exposure. These numbers do not even touch upon the total passing toll caused by radiation and they also don't touch upon the mutations in humans or animals in the area. Which brings us to this footage published in March of 2014. Mm. 
The uploader states that the video is filmed at Chernobyl Power Plant. A close-up of an animal in the area appears to show a headless form on four legs running across the railroad tracks. It almost looks like a headless deer. Some in the comments say that it looks like a large deer with the face of a rabbit, or a moose with a twisted neck, and still others say the creature appears as though its neck is deformed and bending towards the opposite side. Mutant or not, kinda makes you wonder what other nightmare creatures are lurking in the area. If the backstory to this video is real, then none of the friends you are looking at here are still alive. Their families gave police permission to release this video in hopes of solving what happened to them. At some point during their final car ride together, they go through a lonesome old tunnel in the middle of a private country road. They don't think much of it until they come across the same tunnel again, and then a third time. They are driving in a straight line and not a circle. Yet this creepy location keeps greeting them as if they never left. It only gets worse when the engine stops working. If you think this video is fake, then please take a moment and tell me how they were able to make it look like their car breaks down. Just, just over here. I don't want to see. Anyway, not too long after their car stops working, a song skips on the radio and this figure heads straight their way. <laughs> And when the car works, they go to reverse. You can see the figure immediately appears behind them in return. I think this last part looks like it could be an amateur horror movie, to be honest, but tell me if this part is editing or not, and then we'll know the real truth. A statue seated on a throne seems to track a museum visitor with its head for seven seconds as they pass by. The camera is shaky, so let's check out these still images. Here it is with its head slightly turned to look at him when he first enters. And here it is at 47 seconds looking at him from the center of the room. A approximately 20 seconds later, a different statue shown here is seen lifting its arm. We're gonna analyze some strange things on this list, but this is perhaps the clearest visually. This YouTuber published three videos of this sighting in April of 2014 writing, Original raw footage found of the Turkey UFO seen by dozens of residents between 2007 and 2009. The clip is perhaps one of the clearest I've seen in recent memory. Its shape is unlike that of any man-made air vehicle, as are its lights, which slant along the wings of the aircraft. The clip captures a close-up as well as footage of the object at a distance. It's certainly a strange sight in the sky over Turkey, with some in the YouTube comments calling it the real thing and one of the most important captures ever. Most in the comments rave at the quality of the image, being that most UFO captures are blurry, low-quality footage. With nearly six minutes in this video clip and two other clips to follow, we're hard put to explain what this could be but the real thing. This ghost at YouTuber Miss Pink Sweets 4201's workplace has her on edge. She captured video proof that some of her co-workers aren't exactly alive and they may even be pure evil. Watch the left-hand corner of the top right-hand capture. Mm -hmm. Oh my A ghostly figure appears, its face melting into view. Oh my It disappears moments later. Is this a ghost? I think it could be some shift in the light, but it sure looks like a demon to me. Are you ready to spend the night in one of the most haunted places in the UK? Published in May of 2022, Exploring with Josh explores the Skurrid Inn, a place reputed to see high levels of paranormal activity. As the team spends their overnighter in the place, all is still and quiet until... Can you see it moving? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Holy oh, hell. Oh my What the Holy shit. shit. So just look at how fast oh my Bro, no bullshit. As they continue to explore the place, gathered in a pack, they hear this noise. Oh. See? Oh. And yours. You can't fake that. That might be the most. 
amazing evidence in a long time. Well, I'm actually kind of scared to sleep here. Then as they're downstairs, they hear their music box detecting motion upstairs. When they ask the spirit to step forward, they hear it again. Who is brave enough to go and check it out? Upstairs, one of the crew listens in, relaying its messages to the rest. Norse. Norse. Viking. Leave. Leave. Dude, he's straight up talking about you on God. Dude, this is one of the messages is very clear, and the messages get more pointed. Fool. Fool. It's always devil like this and that. Who's the fool? You all. Oh my god. What tells your name? Unholy. The unholy. When the group suggests pulling their crew member out, the spirit becomes adamant. Dude, he said the craziest stuff to us already. Like, we couldn't pull him out. Should we? Yeah. No, don't. Don't. Yeah, we should pull him out. Yeah, pull him out. That was probably the scariest one we've ever had for like SDS. Now we're getting mixed messages. Does the spirit want them to go or stay? I'd sprint for it. Night has fallen and Franco TV is re-exploring this potentially haunted cemetery in Florida. Four signs of the paranormal. He doesn't even get through the front door before his flashlight mysteriously stops working, which is exactly what happened when he's come here before. So I think it's probably real. My mag light is not working. It isn't long before he's hearing scary noises and seeing strange shadows that do not belong to him. Eventually, he adds a second night vision camera that he hopes to catch a ghost with. After hearing more creepy noises coming from all over, he focuses across the cemetery and finally captures something weird on camera. I literally just heard a noise down here. In a dark room appears to be a ghostly figure, a woman in a chair with her back turned. The possible apparition does not say anything or react to the light being shined directly on her, which is beyond creepy. By the time he reaches the dark room, it's empty once again. No objects have been moved and the chair is still facing the same direction, like no one was ever there to begin with. Yet Franco is not convinced that he is alone, and rightfully so. I keep freaking hearing stuff out here. The ghost and the ghost hunter continue to play a game of haunted hide and seek until Franco has one last ghost sighting while walking around the perimeter of the cemetery. Hello? Ma'am? Do you need help? Do you need help? She doesn't say a word at him, but this time she does look over twice and then back at a marker, possibly her own. When she turns to him, you can just barely see the outline of a scary face. It almost looks like she has empty hollow sockets for eyes. Yeah. Not doing that. Now here's what I don't understand. Franco finally gets what could be a real ghost sighting on camera, and all he has to do is walk a few meters to get one of the clearest videos of a ghost up close. He could finally be the ghost hunter who proves once and for all that paranormal spirits are real, and yet he just walks away in the opposite direction. I guess he must have been really creeped out to turn down this once in a lifetime opportunity to prove that ghost sightings are real, or maybe this was somebody pretending to be a ghost. Tell me which one you think it was. A fearless ghost hunter named Hassan Barbar -Bar takes on a demon in its own home in one of the creepiest paranormal explorations I've seen in a while. First is Snapchat filter which uses facial recognition technology, detects a ghost right in front of him, though I suspect it might be falsely detecting a face from this square on the wall. But what the filter could possibly mistake for a face here at 3 minutes and 37 seconds, I have no idea. Maybe it is a ghost. A bizarre trail of flashing dog images does seem to lead him to the real thing, and the extra creepy stuff is all caught on camera. <laughs>
The demon is in a small cramped room with no exit, and so Hassan Barbar fearlessly charges forward, fearing no demon. He is expected to have caught it up close on camera, but instead the small room is mysteriously empty, despite there being no other path for it to have escaped through besides the doorway through which he came. Atul. Atul. When? He follows the Snapchat filter back to the mysterious square wall, and that's when he sees it again. He runs outside only to find the demon has disappeared from the other side of the wall. The Snapchat taunts him with further positives for a facial recognition. He goes to where the figure was just standing and looks through the wall inside. Sure enough, by now he understands that this jinn can teleport easily and will not be caught today because it simply does not want to be. He leaves for now, sure to be back another day with a plan to draw it even closer next time for a better look at its gruesome face. Kills that dude. <laughs> a single strange light in the sky has a YouTuber named Jesse Table Beast looking up with curiosity and horror. Yeah, it's definitely fine, whatever it is. He and his friend decide to drive towards this strange blinking light and investigate what it could be. The still image taken at 4 minutes and 58 seconds gives us a better look at it. A disc-like object floating in the air. There's an intense light coming from the bottom and also a small circular dome on top. They don't know what it is and neither does anyone else. A minute later, they are at the source of the light, which is much larger now but still just as unexplained. They think the light is coming from a nearby power plant, but it's too dark and rainy to tell, so they go home without knowing for certain. This light, well bizarre, might be from a busted power generator, but if that were the case then you'd think the light would be low to the ground and constant. The light is high in the air. Tell me what you think it is. This home inspector wasn't expecting to find this. Published by Cleveland Marco in July of 2011, the inspector is at this residence and explains that a former resident is said to have passed away in her sleep there and that her ghost remains as he's explaining that the ghost is said to enjoy walking around and opening doors in the home. A door opposite slams open by itself. This surprises them all. And she likes to open doors. And she says, well, they say that doors open by themselves. No way! They try it again. The inspector opens a door, and as he does, the door across the room opens as well. All right, let's do this again. All right. All right here it goes. Open the door. Oh, man. No. This happens three times. While some are saying it's the air pressure in the room, others are keener on the ghost story. I definitely think something mysterious is going on in this house. This alien-like creature perplexed everyone when the footage was released to the public sometime in 2008. Shell Company says they caught it on video hanging around one of their oil platforms about 200 miles from Houston, Texas. It was eventually identified as a long-legged sea creature called the Magna Pinna Squid. But even to this day, many videos still insist that this is evidence of alien life. As such, I just wanted to include this squid on the list to put the rumor to rest. There is a haunted painting somewhere in this art gallery in Birmingham, UK. The only problem is Ted Whitehall isn't sure which painting it is, so he calls a pastor to hold an exorcism and cleanse every last one of them. Something demonic is determined not to let that happen. Well, take it from this place. It has no place here, Lord. I cast this out in the name, and I bind it in the mighty. 
An angry ghost keeps slamming the door. It hates whenever the pastor talks about being cast out and keeps doing its best to interrupt him. I cast you out and bind you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of the persistent pastor pushes aside his fear and fires off the final words. You can hear the defeated spirit walk away. Cast it into the pit, Lord, and bind it forever. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. That could just be somebody off camera walking away. So let's turn our attention towards the chair, which Ted says is made of cast iron. Can anybody tell me if this is really made out of cast iron? If so, it should weigh a ton and be virtually impossible to move. To call this paranormal activity would be an understatement. This is one powerful painting. This dash cam video shows traffic moving normally across four unobstructed lanes. When out of nowhere, a woman appears in front of a black pickup truck. She keeps walking to the other side like nothing is wrong. The black pickup truck definitely hits its brakes, and the car behind them does so as well, which seems like a realistic response. Then again, there's clearly a red stoplight up ahead, so maybe they were braking for that instead. I don't know why this video is void of color. I'm assuming it's because black and white video would take up less space on the dashcam memory card, but it's safe to say that only a ghost would be able to do what this woman does. While exploring the abandoned Davutlu village, the YouTube crew from Han Kardisler find they're not alone. One woman comes out of the woodwork. Hey. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. <laughs> Oğlum, var gel, gel. Gel, seni, gel. The woman leads them to this strange dark figure hiding behind a corner, but the figure disappears as they approach. It then reappears in the downstairs window. The mysterious figure appears only as a form, a shadow if you will. While the crazy woman tells the crew something, her silent husband stands by with his back to the camera. The figure has again vanished from sight. What? <laughs> And then the woman appears to go nuts, shooing them off and even throwing stuff at them. After being chased around, they later see the figure in the window again. But it's not any clearer what the figure is. I have no clue what this entity may be, but it seems to me that this old woman might be protecting it from outsiders. I'm not so sure it needs her protection though. Levitation, animal skulls, fire, this one has everything. These paranormal investigators have met their match. While looking around a ritualistic site, they come across this pentagram drawn on the wall. Nearby, rocks and candles are arranged alongside what looks like a black chopped off ponytail. There's a burnt animal skull posted up at the center of the pentagram. Later, the light from their camera shuts off. When it turns back on, a body has risen in the air and hangs there limply. It's one of their crew members, and a moment later, he is found collapsed on the floor and unconscious.
They check his pulse and manage to shake him awake. He stumbles up, clearly rattled. Not long after, a fire starts on the ground in the room. They don't know how it started. Is there some evil entity haunting these howled grounds? Brought to life by the rituals done here. Only Satan can answer that. This Ukrainian dash cam captures one of the highest resolution highway ghost encounters I have ever seen. Watch this part and tell me what is being said here if possible. I would really like to have a legitimate translation of this potentially supernatural message. The driver speeds off after she falls back and disappears, and does not stop until they are back to civilization. This professional quality of this video makes me wonder if this is from a European movie or television show. If not, it almost looks like a well-constructed hologram. I could find no other source for this video, so be sure to let me know if this is amateur footage or something from mainstream media. This isn't a gentle good morning. Published to YouTube by C4CAT in March of 2018, this is what happens when an early bird of a ghost is angry that you're not up yet. The video shows a man asleep in bed as window curtains nearly blow, at times pushing the entire curtain to the side. The young man at first remains undisturbed by this. At one point when the curtain is brushed over, you can see something white appear behind the bars of the window. Then an obscure flash of white passes close to the camera. Shortly after, there's a slow disturbance in the man's blanket. Part of it lifts until the entire blanket billows up. It's then ripped off of him by an unseen force. Like a bucket of cold water, this is one alarm clock you wouldn't want to wake up to. Some urban explorations go from 0 to 100 pretty quickly, and this is one of them. Published to YouTube by Chris Hopkins in June of 2020, while exploring an abandoned naval base on a cold, windy night, as soon as Chris and his crew walked into this building, they heard a loud bang right beside them. Still, they decided to explore the rest of the base, no harm done, until they were getting ready to leave. After walking through the woods, as they were squeezing through a hole in the fence to get to their car, they heard what Chris describes as a Bigfoot, or a ghost, chasing after them. He says it again sounded like it was right next to them. The demonic roar is heard at least two more times after they get through the fence. Chris says they were running so fast that his friend lost his phone in the escape. Of course, other than the creature with big feet, there are other theories. Some think the roar came from a wild pig or a goat man, and some agree that it does indeed sound demonic. Any other ideas? Those ones already have me terrified. Humanoids apparently come in all different sizes. The one in this video is mistakenly labeled as a goblin, though it looks completely human except for its height. The supposed goblin in this video is shorter than one brick tall. It peeks around from behind a wall and quickly disappears once it sees the camera. The camera follows it to the other side of the wall and finds a tiny hole that the humanoid must have escaped into. If it wasn't for the video, the supposed goblin would not have left a trace behind. This police cam footage was taken during a massive wildfire in Sonoma County, California in 2017. Officers are doing what they can to evacuate the public and restore order, but as this brief dash cam video shows, they were up against total chaos at the time. Listen closely and you'll even hear the dispatcher say that they can't tell which direction the fire is spreading and seems to be genuinely overwhelmed. I have to salute this officer and all of the other brave public officials who willingly charged into a massive blaze to try and help everyone. A YouTuber named Unnounce posted this trail cam footage he caught while camping at the foot of Maple Mountain in Ontario. For two nights in a row, a strange and loud humming noise made him pass out from 8 at night until 11 in the morning the next day. 
At first you can only see this curly, out of focus object, but it's actually the arm of this giant creature. If it is a costume, it's really good, and I wouldn't even know where to step in. The blob glows pure white as it curiously handles the camera, then its glow extends to the tree behind. Unknowns claims he had no idea what was camping with him those two nights. Do you believe him? I certainly do. Things get scary on the open road. This is yet another case of a driver gone a little too ragey. The video is self-explanatory. The Mercedes driver gets out of his car, carrying a metal pole, but the driver is on his toes. Putting pedal to the metal, he speeds off-road and leaves the would-be assailant in the dust. In my opinion, it doesn't matter what little driving infraction happened in the lead-up to this scary incident, no one should spring from their vehicle with a metal pole with the intent of getting revenge. Originally published by YouTuber BugBoho and analyzed by the channel Unexplainable, this video is trending in the international YouTube community. While searching a forest cemetery, these paranormal explorers encountered a horrifying sight, a witchy woman feasting on the passed away. An old grey-haired woman covered in streaks of red is standing over a figure lying prone on the floor. Below the woman, the person's face and body are covered, but the person is clearly unconscious. Although we didn't really catch the witch in action, Whatever she's done to the person seems sinister. A female member of the paranormal crew appears to be using her powers to counteract this witchcraft. Will she succeed? I sure hope so. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.